Hello YouTube, this is Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope you're having a blessed day today. It is a hot one today, 90, 90 degrees, pretty hot. I've been outside cutting grass, uh, so I have come inside to take a break. While I'm taking a break here, got my drink, my lemonade stuff. Uh, ow, I just hit my, that sucked. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring you a video today about some, some of the things that I like to keep. Some people might consider this hoarding, but if you have a survival mindset, maybe this stuff will make uh, sense to you. So, here we go. First of all, this is an egg box. Uh, I don't throw good boxes away. Anything I can pack stuff in, uh, you know, I'll keep them. So I keep egg boxes. I've got a stack of uh, nine of them over there. Uh, most of them have um, vac sealed food and that type of things in them. But this one has your prep for today. So to speak. Ta da! Newspapers. That's right. We have a cheap, uh, we have a newspaper that is free in our community. Uh, it's free. All you have to do is like, uh, there's usually a little slip in here. You'll have to cut it out and send it to the, to the place where they make this paper at. But uh, all you have to do is request it. And you get a free paper every week. It's uh, and this I have learned is is become a pretty good resource. How is that a resource, Farmer Son? You might ask. You think back, and if you don't know, I'll educate you some on this because I wasn't around back then, but I have talked to people who were. Um, every magazine every newspaper in the old days got kept for one main reason once people were done reading them they went to the outhouse they became toilet paper something to wipe your rear end with toilet paper back then didn't exist and if it was nobody went to the cities to get it it was People were so used to using what they had on hand. That was magazines, Sears and Robux catalog, that kind of stuff, and newspapers. Uh, so, now I'll talk about the different uses. Uh, and I've got probably four of these boxes full of newspapers. Uh, the first one I've already stated can be used for toilet paper if that situation arises I have plenty of TP on hand but if something happens we're in a long-term event you might be thankful for your old newspapers that you stacked up second of all fire starters these are good fire starters you can take one page of this rip it in half roll it up Light it on fire, fire starter. And I suggest the roll it up method because it burnt, It takes a little bit longer to burn. You can hold it under your wood or whatever. So, fire starters. What else could this be used for? Hmm. You could shred them up. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, it's natural. It's wood. Yes, there are chemicals on it. So... You might could put them in compost. I'm not no compost expert, but you might could shred them up and put them in compost. But uh, I don't know if these chemicals would interact with your plants. So do some research on that. But possibly shred it up, put it in compost piles. Um, trust me, in a survival scenario, I could probably come up with way more uses for this. Not so much right now, but I do. I stack newspapers. They're free, they don't cost me a dime, they get shipped right to my door, and I stack them up. And I mean, I've got 
a stack of them in here. I'm trying to show y'all. This box is full of newspaper. Okay? So uh, do some investigations. Look around. Does your community have a little free paper? It doesn't have to be a newspaper. It could be a, a swap, buy, sell, trade, swap type of deal. If it's free, start stacking them. Uh, it can be used for a couple of things, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of something else you could use this for. Uh, seems like when I first started thinking about doing this video, I had some other things, but they've done lost me, y'all. And if you can think of any other reasons that you can use stacked up newspaper, put them down here in the comments. We'd love to have you comment and help the rest of the community. You may be have a, you may have a little more wisdom than, than I do on this subject. So uh, definitely, if you can think of more uses for newspaper, uh, you can wrap presents with it. I have done that. That's a use. You know, in hard times. Uh, in the Great Depression, if you got something, you know, if you were blessed enough to get a gift at all, a lot of times it came wrapped in the funny papers or uh, newspaper. So there's another use. Uh, but I know you could probably put these down, put them down in layers of like five or six together, and you could probably use them for weed control around your plants, something like that. And then you don't ever have to worry about taking it up. This will disintegrate. It's, it's all natural. It'll go into the ground. Uh, so, some easy weed control there, maybe. Anyway, this is the video I wanted to bring you today. Uh, also, some other things I like to keep are bread ties. Uh, and I also know people who actually keep bread bags. I'm not doing that yet, but I'm thinking about it. Uh, but bread ties, you can use little bread ties to fix things. Uh, they're useful for lots of stuff. You can use bread ties if you have loose cords on your, uh, like if your backpack doesn't have the cord keepers that keeps your cords from flapping, you can put a couple of those bread ties around there and cinch those up, keep your cords all nice and tidy. Uh, so I like to keep bread ties as well. Also, if you buy the trash bags with the big long ones, they're basically the same thing. Uh, I tie my trash bags in knots and then keep the ties because I, I find them very handy. All right, y'all. I think that's going to do for today. Uh, God bless you is my prayer. Remember, Romans 12, 21, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Be kind to someone today. Help someone if you can. And keep stacking it, y'all. Stack you some newspapers. I'm sure you'll find some uses. Uh, I just thought of another use. Hang on. I'm not done yet. Hang on. There's more. Uh, if something happens and you and your pets have to stay in the house, let's say some sort of nuclear event happens. You or your pets cannot leave the house. Now, I normally go against puppy pads and all that stuff. You're training a dog to take a crap in your house. So I typically do not train my dogs that way. But if you had to stay inside with your pets, newspaper is going to come in real handy. Also, you can put them in the bottom of uh, bird cages, rabbit cages, some animal cages if you, if you wanted to. Uh, just a couple more that just hit my head there. Uh, senior moment. Y'all know how it goes. This is Farmer Sound Prepping. Y'all be blessed and keep uh, doing the things. Uh, keep your situational awareness uh, up at all times. I would stay out of highly populized places. It's just me. Make sure you got your security tools and your food for those. Things are looking pretty rough right about now. Uh, keep the faith. Keep the faith uh, in the Lord. And uh, that's it. Okay. I'm, I think I'm done again. Uh, this is Farmer Son Prep. We'll check y'all later.